Good morning, guys. It's cloudy today, but the temperature is... It's humid out, but it's... um. It, the temperature is tepid. It, it's just... It's so comfortable. It's one of those kind of temperatures that you could go out there and even a gentle breeze wouldn't chill you. It would just be so comforting like you know one of those kind of temperatures that just it feels good nothing chilling about it at all anyway um i want to welcome my new subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you being here we'll get down to business here in just a minute Yesterday, my body got to the point that it wasn't satisfied with just eating off of the fat for energy. I mean, it was throwing a giant hissy fit. And I did eat one meal, and then I turned around and ate like two and a half hours later. But it wasn't a complete meal. So, you know, my body is still in training. I'm still teaching it to just use up the fat stores for energy and stop whining. Uh, I mean, I was I was occupied yesterday, but it was really strong on my mind. And I kept thinking about it, and I just gave in. I know, bad on me. Bad on me, okay. So, in Ray and myself this morning, I came in at 181.9. So, that's six ounces up. But, that is okay. Because, I'm not going to keep giving in to myself like that. I'm not. And I told my body this morning for it to just shut up. So, you know, I'm not. My body is still in training. And, I am still working hard to break that cycle where it just has to eat again when it's already had plenty. I'm also still working on having the perfect balance in my meal so that there's complete satisfaction, which means plenty of protein. If, if your meal consists more of carbs than anything else, you are going to get hungry again and pretty fast and it's not that there's anything wrong with carbs because carbs is a form of energy as is protein and fats as well but carbs is a fast energy and so therefore the body uses it up quick whereas proteins and fat is a slow energy and therefore the body uses it slower you know uses it on a more time lapse so you know I am still working on that perfect balance because I can't eat just hamburger patty forever right so I'm still working on that perfect balance where there's plenty of proteins because the body needs proteins to lose weight that has been shown that proteins play a major role in weight loss but if you have too much protein in a day, it can backfire on you and then you gain. So you're, you have to have so much protein for it to be effective 
And yesterday, unfortunately, my meal consisted more of carbs. I think you have to have about up to 48 grams of protein before it backfires on you. But you can't have anything, I mean, it won't be very effective if it's less than 20 grams. So, you know, you've got a certain window there to have a balance of protein so that you can successfully lose weight. But protein is vital for muscle building. And the more muscle you've got, the more hot your metabolism is. So it makes sense. If you eat enough protein without overeating it, then it's going to keep your muscles in great shape. It's going to keep your muscles revitalized and they're going to constantly regenerate and therefore you're going to have a very strong hot metabolism. But if you don't eat enough protein, your muscles can start breaking down because it doesn't have what it needs to regenerate, reform, and recuperate. And then you'll have a weaker metabolism, unfortunately. So yeah, I've really got to make sure to keep the balance in there. What I'm really lacking in is the proteins. I'm getting proteins, but not enough. So I'm still working on that balance. And unfortunately, yesterday, because I had more carbs than protein, my body protested, needed to eat again, which messed me up. So, I think I ended up having only about 18 grams of protein overall. So, um, yeah. And the thing is, I'm getting full faster. So, um... That means that what I eat in one meal is smaller and, and that's fine with me. I don't mind to eat less. I really don't. But to really make it effective, it has got to be real balanced. So, and I already got sick of salad. I stopped eating salad, so I'm having to make up for those nutrients as well. But I, I, I'm still working on it. I'm, I've only been doing OMAD now for about two and a half months and I'm still working on that perfect balance so that OMAD works perfect for me. And um, so yes, I'm going to be patient about it. Yesterday was the first day in the four days since I really got angry that I gave in and ate when I didn't need to. And you know, I just... I am determined. I'm not going to let my body have its way. I, I, I'm I, always sure to make sure it's got fuel. I'm always sure. I'm not about to starve myself. But yet my body turns around and complains at me. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm the boss. Not my body. Me. I just live in this body. That's the truth. It's the truth. I mean, honestly, biblically speaking, this body is just a house. The real us lives inside of them. But anyway, yeah, I'm up six more ounces, but still under, under 182, which is great news. And Tomorrow's a new day, and once again, I'm anxious to see where I'm at. So, anyway, you'll be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog. I love each and every one of you guys. Have a great day.